Hello, welcome to the online consultation. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration just so that you can see what's involved. Um, the first section is simply your name and email address. We then take you to the uh, payment details. Then you'll get forwarded to the online consultation questionnaire. And at that point, you can upload photos of your skin problem for the doctor to see. So before you begin, please take your photos and have them ready to attach a bit later on. Um, so the first screen is simply your name and address, uh, email address. I'm just going to make some details up here, but please um, put your correct details in. And just repeat your email address just to make sure you've got the correct one in. Now the, the fee for the online consultation is £39.95 uh, and all payments go through WorldPay. So once you click on Pay with WorldPay, that will take you to WorldPay's secure site. So just check the amount in here and then check your method of payment. Once that's clicked, that will take you to the WorldPay page. So I'm going to fill this out now and um, you can rejoin me once that payment's gone through. Okay, so here's the confirmation that payment's been successful. And then simply click on continue to online consultation. So now you're on the dermatological questionnaire and you'll see you have been given a case number. Make a note of that in case you need to get in touch later. So complete the form with as many details as possible and then we'll attach the photos. So your name and email address have been pre-filled out. So simply add in your uh, date of birth. I'm just going to make something up. And then answer these questions to the best of your ability. The more information that you can give to the doctor, then the better he can assess your case. So how long have you had the condition? Uh, your skin colour, hair colour, eye colour. Now if you uh, need a prescription for the medication that Dr Ashworth recommends, we'll need to send a private prescription over to that pharmacy. Not all medicines can be remotely prescribed and if that is the case Dr Ashworth will let you know in his report to you. But please give us the details if you've got one of your pharmacy. If you don't have one we will send the prescription to your home address. So pharmacy name and their address. And if you can find out the telephone number that would be really useful. Again if we do issue a private prescription then we do need to let your GP know just for their records. Um, so if you can let us know your GP surgery and again the address of the GPs. Uh, and just need to confirm here whether you consent to us informing your GP. Some more medical questions now. Are you diabetic? I'm going to say no. Do you have any allergies? This is medical allergies, so have you ever had any reaction to any medication? I'll say no. Are you taking any prescription medication? So here I'm going to put click yes and in the, the box that then comes up if you can give details of that. Are you taking any non-prescription medication, herbal medicines or illegal drugs? I'll say no. Are you being treated for any other medical condition? Again if you click yes you need to give detail of that. So the actual skin condition that you would like an assessment of, is it a rash, a lesion, which is a lump or mole or other for any other skin conditions? I'm going to click other. And now you'll see that some more questions come up. So the body sites involved now, I'm going to say the face. The body sites where the rash began, and I'm going to say the trunk. And then some multiple choice questions. Have you had it before? No previous medical diagnosis of it, I'm going to say yes. Any family history of similar? No. Is it worsening? Yes. Have any treatments helped? I'll say no. Are any other household members affected? Again, I'll say no. And then in this text box here, you can give any relevant information or if you have a specific question for the doctor, this is where you put that. Now because I clicked yes, to a few of these questions, I'm going to give that detail here. This is quite a lot uh, of information that you can fit into this box, so put as much information in there as possible. If you have tried any other medications, give that information. So now we're going to attach some photos. You can add up to four photos, so you can see that the picture is attached, and you just do that with as many pictures as you have. 
Now at dermatologist.co.uk we do like to support charities and a small proportion of any profit that we make will be given to a charity so if it won't cost you any more uh, but please uh, pick a charity that you'd like to support and then again really helpful for us where did you hear about us this will help with our market research and how we can um, get our service out to people and then finally we need you to read and accept the statement here this is really important um, the prescription if applicable will be issued remotely which is a non face-to-face -face consultation this is common medical practice but not ideal if there are any problems such as side effects I understand that certain medicines can adversely interact with each other and it is therefore vital to disclose within this questionnaire any pre-existing medical conditions and any medication currently being taken I understand the need to urgently inform Dr Ashworth's office and my own GP should any adverse reactions develop to the medication prescribed. I give my consent to my GP receiving a copy of the private prescription. So if that statement is acceptable to you, please click the acceptance box here. Once you click send to specialist, you will receive a notification to your email and you will receive your account details and there you'll see the confirmation that the case has been submitted. Dr Ashworth will try and reply within 24 hours. When the service is busy, it can take up to 48 hours. And that's it. Thanks for watching.